I love building things. And for the past 10 years, I've been building fab labs all around the world. And what fab labs do is give people access to the tools and processes for the modern means of invention. This gives people access or, or control over the technology that controls their lives. What, what would you make if you could make almost anything? The lab that raises the most eyebrows is the one in Afghanistan. And some of the users there wanted to make the internet. And they started in the backyard, and they looked across the world and history for um, models and te technologies that would make sense in their context. And when they were done, they had created a city-scale, ad hoc, wireless mesh network. They made the internet. And some users in Kenya ad adapted the Afghan model, adding billing services so they could make companies businesses that give broadband access to unserved areas. This new network of collaborators have been spreading and sharing these ideas and abilities around the world. The technical successes are really extraordinary. They're really cool. But what's mind-boggling is that there was an Afghan export. It's an Afghan export of technical innovation for social change. What, let this, what allowed this to happen was we brought together the people and their ideas with the means, the, the uh, tools and the processes. Those are the fab labs. But the important part was we brought with them a, sh um, a guiding set of principles, spoken, shared values of a future we all actually want to live in. What my organization, Fab Folk, does is to bring, wants to do, is to bring more people into this community, unlocking them, unlocking their capacities, so that together we can ask the question, what do we want to make? Thank you.